Since the dawn of time, man has been fascinated by many things. A new stick, the creation of fire, and the lightning in the sky. These primeval colors have come together in harmony to create what we know as the modern man. With such colors underlying our existence, it's no wonder how this intrigue has risen to be one of the greatest of them all, Fortnite Battle Royale. Fortnite, during its tenure of six months, has easily become the biggest thing in gaming, usurping the likes of Overwatch, League of Legends, and even dethroning PUBG from the top of the Twitch rankings. Fortnite, in the span of a single month has been able to generate an upwards amount of 300 million dollars. From Keemstar to Ninja, this game has had an insane amount of support and has managed to keep its throne atop the masses with little to no effort. Fortnite's gameplay and quick access to online matchmaking leads many who delve into it to be quickly captured by its allure. You start up the game, you click two buttons, and there you're parachuting from the sky onto an island with 99 other players. It's truly a phenomenon by every account. It even had 100 million dollars thrown into its esports market, a market that is rivaling and sometimes exceeding views garnered by the likes of the NBA, NFL, and football as a whole. Billion dollar entertainment industries are being rivaled by the likes of a mere free to play game. So with all this success, it begs the question, how is Fortnite dying? If we take a look at gaming franchises like Halo, Battlefield, and even the powerhouse themselves, Call of Duty, these games all had a golden era. Halo dominated the early 2000s up until around 2009, where Call of Duty, Battlefield and other series had surpassed it by a long shot. Call of Duty in particular found huge success with games like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2. With a massive community behind it, an online audience watching it 24-7 and a competitive scene that was growing, it all seemed as though it was invincible. Even Fortnite, with the seemingly immortal game that it appears to be, is most definitely not without its faults. Along with its faults, it also has factors out of the game's control that could lead to its downfall. Having to compete with massive and established series, children being the primary player base, community influence, and the detrimental effect on gameplay. Now, I'm not saying the game in general will completely die out. Hell, there are still people playing GTA 4 online on the PS3 right now, 10 years after its initial release. The point I am making is that Fortnite isn't going to be able to keep this momentum up. It went from destroying PUBG, taking over League of Legends on Twitch, beating almost every game on YouTube, to slowly losing viewers. With that out of the way, allow me to elaborate on my aforementioned points of contention, starting with my first point. With Battle Royale type games spawning in every direction possible through memes and actual content, it's no wonder that heavy hitters would want a piece of this pie. A not so shocking example comes from the Call of Duty series and its recently announced Black Ops 4 title. They've revealed the inclusion of a Battle Royale game mode, scrapped their campaign and are focusing solely on the online mode. Granted, Call of Duty has had a history of being hit or miss, but to deny the potential of this exploding is foolish at best. AAA titles like this have so much more backing and staff to the point where they could very well make a fantastically balanced game that could supersede Fortnite by leaps and bounds. This small example doesn't even include the plethora of games announced at E3 and ones not even shown at E3 that are to be released soon. Every game has to worry about this, but Fortnite in particular has a very fickle player base that are ready to jump at the next trending big game. There is nothing inherently wrong having children as your main demographic. Most 90s games thrived off of this and a lot of adults have today go back to enjoy their favourite childhood titles. Unfortunately for Fortnite, we live in an age where games, sequels and prequels are pumped out faster than children in China. This makes for a mercurial audience who latches onto trends left and right. The exodus of PUBG to Fortnite is a really good example, but I want to use other instances too. The switching from DayZ and H1Z1 to PUBG and the iconic MOBA shift of people heading to League of Legends from Dota, those were some big games with similar people playing them who up and went to other games due to it being the latest fad. Children are even more susceptible to trends, so with this being Fortnite's main income and player base, it creates a very unstable platform upon which it sits. Lugubriously for Fortnite, it's apparent that it will not have a similar fate that 90s games did, for its online nature and game mechanics, which are continuously changed by epic games. Community input is extremely valuable when adjusting and fixing your game to suit the fan base who plays it most. Fortnite is at a rather frustrating intersection with its community when it comes to changing balancing and mechanics. There is a massive divide in the player base about which weapons should be nerfed and what mechanics should be changed. A great example is the shotgun. It seems so many people want to nerf it, but there are also people who don't want it to be nerfed or even looked at full stop. This creates a big conundrum in which Epic Games tries to alleviate by making the game much more inclusive for the common gamer. There is nothing inherently wrong with making a game inclusive, however, there is a point where the gameplay just becomes flat out boring and repetitive. It's just hidden by the mask of inclusiveness to create an excuse not to make it more skill-based. The effects of its boring gameplay are even showing in the YouTubers and streamers who play 
play this game. So many of them at this point are not playing it because they like the game. They are playing Fortnite because it's popular and tons of kids consume this type of content more than their own boogers. They need the money and unfortunately, Fortnite seems to be the key to this. With that being said, the next big trendy game will completely overtake Fortnite and the same thing will happen. But to pretend Fortnite is immune to this would be very stupid. To end off this video, I don't want to fear monger and echo the same trendy Fortnite is dying blather that you've seen all over your recommended section for the past three months. The point of this video is to merely take a rational look at a game which blew people away, made a ridiculous amount of money while also being free to play, and has taken the competitive scene, YouTube, and Twitch by storm. With that being said guys, I want to give a massive thank you to Movement Watchers for making this video possible. Movement Watchers hit me up, let me pick out two watches of my choice and send them to me ASAP. Now, I'm not just saying this as someone who's being paid to advertise their stuff, but they truly do make quality watches. If you want to get yourself a watch, make sure to use my discount code CLYDETHEWEABOO15 for $15 off of your purchase. The links to all their stuff is at the very top of the description, so even if you don't buy a watch, make sure to go check them out. But with that out of the way, I hope you all have yourselves a lovely day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you you and um peace out fellas. Do you believe Drake played this shit?